Hello traders, Trader Tom here from Simply Forex, the channel created to help you succeed in the markets. I've been trading for over 15 years now, and I have poured all of my trading knowledge, experiences, expertise, techniques, and strategies into the VIP Trading Academy as part of our Discord channel so that you can take advantage and profit from the markets. Whether you're a beginner on day one of your trading journey or you've been trading for years, we have something for everyone. As part of the VIP Trading Academy, you will receive daily trade signals, numerous tutorials, profitable strategies, exclusive content every week, daily analysis, and you get direct access to me, plus much, much more. We will also be running competitions where we'll be giving away prizes every single month. All of this is usually worth $300, but here's the exciting part. We can now offer this to you for free. Yes, that's right, for free. So how can we do this? Well, we are super proud to announce that we have partnered with Axi, a leading global award-winning broker. And if you open a live trading account with them and deposit as little as $500, then we will give you free access to the VIP Trading Academy. So what are you waiting for? Check out the promotion below, open a live Axie trading account today, and we will see you in the VIP Trading Academy where we will help you every step of the way on your trading journey. Hello traders, bonjour, hola, konnichiwa. Um, that's about it, I think. Is konnichiwa, hello, I'm not sure. Um, hello traders, how are you? I have been eating loads of walnuts. They are very good for you, apparently. So I've been eating lots. Um, not that you're interested in my eating habits. We are here to talk trading. Um, so as you know, guys, it's live stream time. Yeah, I'm with you for the next 40 minutes. And this is your opportunity to ask as many questions as you like. We can analyze some currency pairs. We can look at strategy, risk management, psychology, anything you like guys in the next 40 minutes so don't be shy get your questions over to me ask as many questions as you like and we'll try and answer as many as we can um if you are a simply forex youtube member and your name appears in green i will answer your questions first just to let everyone know um, but we'll try and get everyone's questions in guys all right I'm also going to show you a trade I'm in and how I am managing this trade. So I'm still in it, but I'm going to show you how, I, how I'm managing the silver trade that I'm in. Um, what else are we going to do? There, there's news coming out. Yeah. So uh, let me look at the economic calendar. You can see here, guys, in 24 and a half minutes, my maths is getting better and better. Um, yeah, we've just got a slew of US data. All right. So we've got... Yeah, employment data, PPI, retail sales, you know, we've just got everything, basically. So this is really going to move any US dollar pairs. Or it might just confuse the hell out of US dollar pairs because there's so much news. All right, so we will play guess the news game as well. All right, we'll look at a US dollar pair, see how price reacts, and we'll say, is it better than expected, worse than expected, or as expected? I know it's very exciting. Right, let's go back to this trade that I'm in, guys. We'll start here, um, but let's first say hello to a few of the VIP crew uh, and the live stream crew. So, Scalps, how are you, Scalps? Um, can we have a look at pound US dollar before the news? Yeah, we can take a look at that. Um, I've got a level that I like with pound US dollar. Um, Nor, hi, Nor, how are you, mate? How is the boat? Are you making the boat for the Caribbean, I hope? Um, Calm IT, hey, please answer my question I left yesterday. I need to know how often do you share trade ideas on VIP Discord? Okay, we'll answer that. Sup, sup, Rich Paul, uh, Darren, uh, New Bronner, gold, no problem. We can take a look at gold. Uh, Godwin, how have you? I haven't seen your name for a while. How are you, Godwin? Uh, nice to have you back. Hamed, how are you, mate? Uh, Blast, say it with stones, ciao. Tommaso, yeah, that is Portuguese, I'm only joking, that's Italian. Um, Travis, hey from Atlanta, 
how, uh, Atlanta, isn't that? You've got some big casinos there, in, you know, I believe. Um, usual, please. Okay, Pooh Poppy. Bish. This looks like a new name. Welcome, Bish. Yatin. Yatin, I recognize your name. Been a while. Greg, how are you, mate? Um, New Zealand yen was off the screen this morning. Okay, we'll have a little look at New Zealand yen as well. Um, all right, guys. Welcome, 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 welcome. Let me show you a trade to start with that I am in, right? So as you know, those of you who watch my analysis vid every day, you will get my trade ideas, right? And we are clearly in an uptrend, okay? You do not need to be Warren Buffett. In fact, you could be trading for about 30 seconds and you know that's in an uptrend, yeah? So we're in an uptrend. We've got a bit of room to move into, okay? And uh, we've had this nice big bullish candle. Now, because this candle was so bullish, right? I was willing to do the following. If we go to the H1, right? This, you know, this is the H1. This is that big daily candle. And as I said again in my analysis vid, I I do what I say I will do. Yeah, in my analysis vid. If I say this will happen, I will trade it like that. I plan ahead. And as you know, guys, in my analysis vid, I said if price comes down to the moving average and we get a bullish reaction, these two candles combined were the bullish reaction, I will enter. And I did exactly that. I entered at 90, uh, sorry, not 94, 24.93. All right, so I am in this trade. All right, my first target is up here. Now, what have I, what have I done? So we have news and lots of it coming out in 22 minutes, right? And it's all US data. And this is silver against the US dollar. So obviously, this is going to be affected, right? So what I've done, I have entered here. Okay. And once it got to 2503, literally here, yeah, because I was seeing some 15 minute rejection. Okay, I closed 60% of my trade right? And my stop was here. I have now moved my stop to break even. I'm even going to put that in B E to be or not to be, uh, but break even. Okay. And this is where I am currently. Now I do that because news is coming out, right? Uh, you know, news could come out and price could whip down and take my stop out. And I'd be like, why didn't I do something about it? Um, so this is me doing something about it. We do a tutorial on this in the VIP Trading Academy. Now, you know, the good thing about it is this is now my trade is risk free. Yeah, even if it comes down and, and hits uh, my stop at break even, you know, I'll actually make a small profit because there's 40 percent left. Right. And these are the different scenarios. OK, so it comes down. Yeah. Uh, takes out my stop at break even, and I make a very small profit. Yeah, very small. Yeah, because I've closed 60% and 40% is running. Right? Scenario number two is it doesn't come down to here. Before the news actually comes out, it doesn't come down. And then the news gives strength to silver and price goes flying off. Yeah, this will not be my target. Right, I, I will let price fly if it wants to. Okay, that is best case scenario. But I'm still in this trade for forty percent, and this could be a great, you know, this could be a very profitable, you know, forty percent. Or news comes whizzing down, and again, no problem. I've got my stop loss at my entry. So that is how I roll with with news, you know, big news like this coming out. Okay, so. This is where we are currently. We'll, we'll take a look at this trade and how it played out, in which scenario played out once the news comes out. So if you could please remind me, you know, I'm all set up. I have no problem. I'm just going to leave this and, and let it do its thing. But please remind me, guys, that news is coming out in 19 minutes. Um, so there you go, guys. And that's the only trade that I'm in today. 
And as with all my trade ideas, I put this in the VIP Trading Academy, which leads me to Calm IT's question. So Calm IT, I did answer this yesterday. Um, we have three expert traders. I am one of them, and I'm an intraday trader. We have uh, a scalper, yeah, who does let trades run as well, but partially closes profits. And we have a swing trader. Me personally, I, I on average, will have one trade a day. Some days I'll have none, some days I'll have two. But generally speaking, I'll have one trade a day. Our scalper could have three or four trades a day. And our swing trader is about building a portfolio of trades. That's how he rolls. So there's something for everyone. Yeah, whatever suits you, we have a trader for that. Okay, so Calm IT, I hope that answers your question. Um, right, what else are we looking at? So, um, yeah, so we'll see how silver works out. Um, let's have a look at pound US dollar. Skelt, one of the VIP crew, wanted to look at uh, pound US dollar. So let's get rid of that now. If we go to pound US dollar, now you can see I've got an alarm in. This is the H1 chart, okay? But, you know, daily, it's clear we wanna buy pound US dollar, right? Okay, yeah, we're in an uptrend and this is where we're at so far. So we're in an uptrend, which means we want to buy it, right? Even on the weekly chart, you know, it's broken. This is what I also really like. It's broken this last high. This big weekly candle has broken this last high. And pound US dollar has a lot of free air. By free air, I mean room to move into before it hits another uh, resistance area. You know, potentially has all that room to move into, which would probably be about, you know, 600 pips or something let's have a quick look okay 270 pips right We've got loads of room to move into um so we like pound us dollar for buys right if we look at the h4 h4 you know and, and this has been the same with all the pound pairs we, we've got real h4 h1 conflict right if you look at H4, yeah, we are in, you know, really that's what we're looking at. This is the last lower high, lower lows. We're in a downtrend. And this last high hasn't been broken. Okay. In fact, we're getting a very bearish reaction. And I should also put in a gray zone there, guys. All right. So when I say gray zone, I mean support resistance zone. All right. So this is where we are currently. Now, my alarm is there for obvious reasons, okay? If we get a candle off the back of that news, my God, my candles, I need some vodka just to steady the hand. So if we get a candle like that, that has a, you know, that eats a lot, it's quite a fat candle, that one, um, and it breaks this level, then I'm interested. OK, because it makes sense on the H4 and I would look to take it back up to here, if not, you know, back up to here. So that's what I would like to see on H4. Now, let's look at H1. All right, because H1 is is looking good. Right. H1 is breaking to the upside. We're in a, we're in an uptrend. Right. We've got this, you know, this price action got a bit sideways and then bang. Yeah, so H1 is nice for buys. Yeah, it's come to a nice area here. Yeah, and we could potentially buy it. But it's this H4 level. So really, all I want to do is see a break of this level, and then we'll start trading pound US dollar. So maybe the news will give us that break. We shall see. All right, so that's pound US dollar scalped. I hope that helps. That rhymed. Um, right, what else are we looking at? Uh, okay, so a couple of people want to look at gold. We can take a look at gold. Um, okay, so Travis Hawkins, we, no casino, but we do have the World Cup coming in 2026. Travis, I'm coming over. If you've got the World Cup, I'm assuming you mean football, like soccer for Americans. 
um, I'm coming over. I'm there. Uh, right, Nor still building the boat. You're like, we're gonna not Nor. We're gonna call you Noah. Uh, Nor. So yeah, we, we get a few rooms ready. We'll all be there. Uh, Gavan, hi Tom and all. Hi Gavan. Uh, gold. More people wanting to look at gold. Um, Blast wants to know when can he pay with crypto for the VIP. Um, that's the editor. The editor deals with all that. I have no idea. Um, hi Aya. Hi Poo Poppy. All right. So lots of people want to look at gold. Let's take a look at gold. So as you know, I'm in a silver and I'm buying it. Yeah, and obviously gold and silver are highly correlated, all right? And before I start with gold, guys, if I could please ask everyone, if you haven't already, to please subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you. Um, also smash the notification button. And if everyone could please smash the like button as well. Also, guys, if you haven't already joined our trading community with, of like-minded traders, then please do so. It's free to join. Come join our free Discord channel. And we also have an excellent promotion on our VIP Trading Academy at the moment. Um, right. Uh, gold. So let, let's do a top-down approach. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do this together. We haven't done one as one big, happy, simply Forex family for a while. So let's do this one together. OK, so we, we're all on the same page. So gold chart, right? Weekly chart, which is what you're looking at right now. Would you buy, sell or stay out of this market? So everyone guys this is to everyone don't be shy please give us your opinion you know don't you know have faith in your opinion of the market and this will help you guys so don't be shy would you you've got three options would you buy sell or stay out of gold on the weekly chart only so everyone please give me your answer i'm going to drink what looks like a beer could be It's not a beer. I wish it was. So, guys, yeah, don't be shy. Also, nobody's mentioned my haircut. I got my haircut earlier. Yeah, nobody's mentioned that. A little bit upsetting, I'm, I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, dear. Got to entertain myself a little bit. Um, all right. So, come on, everyone who wanted gold. Yeah, Legend HK Gaming. Uh, who else wanted gold? Darren. What are your views on gold? Right. So here we go. Blast would buy. With, with the name Blast, I imagine you never sell. Yeah. You know, anyway, don't know where I'm going with that. Darren would buy. I would stay out. Nor would stay out. Meshi would stay out. Hamid would stay out. Overball. I agree. Uh, Washington would stay out. And Darren would buy. OK, buy. Yeah. And IQ Robert would stay out. So first and foremost, I'm glad nobody's selling that market, right? You, you don't want to be selling this. Yeah, it is a rocket. Um, but the problem with it is, is the fact that I use the term rocket. Yeah, you know, what are you going to do? Are you going to start buying here? Yeah, at current price, do you want to start buying there? You know, excuse my writing, um, there's no value in it. Now, obviously, I want to buy gold, but right now, there's no value, so I will stay out. Yeah, it's so overbought. Yeah, where am I going to buy? Where am I going to take it to? You have no reference point. Yeah, I mean, let's go left. Yeah, there you go. There is no reference point for gold. OK, and I like this little symbol down here. This is before 1998. That's where dinosaurs were alive. And I think that is historically accurate. I think dinosaurs were around then. Um, so there's a few things that are. Yeah, for that reason, I would stay out. Yeah, there's no value. It's overbought. Where are we going to take it to? Just as a, a side point to that. If we don't have a reference point, like if there's no historical um, level up here to use as a level, 
then generally aim for psychological numbers. Yeah, so this 2,200, you know, this looks like a big psychological, sort of psychological level for gold. Yeah, just get my teeth in. All right, so yeah, if you don't have a target, pick psychological levels. But for all the reasons I said, guys, I would stay out. Okay, you know, if I get a retrace into here, and then we get a build up of structure, yeah, I will buy it back up to here, put my stop below here. And I have a reference point, I have a last high to aim for. Whereas with gold, you're trading a bit blind at the moment. Okay, so for me, I would stay out guys, and the majority of people said stay out. Yeah, a few said buy. Okay. Um, now, let me ask you the same question, right? If we look at the day chart, yeah, because weekly and daily give me my direction. So if you look at the uh, gold, gold again, but on the day chart, same question, guys. Again, don't be shy. Please answer. Would you buy, sell, or stay out of the market? All right, it's a daily chart. Buy, sell, or stay out of the market. Please leave your answer. I will have another drink of something that looks like beer. Okay, Darren, still looking for buys. Last, stay out, stay out, stay out. Yeah, exactly, Darren. With your with your buy, I want to buy it, but I need a retracement. Um, Aya, stay out. Hamid, stay out. I want to go back in time, buy and now hold. Yes, Yatin. Yeah, that's what we need, guys. You know, let's just, you know, forget technical analysis, forget the charts, build a time machine. Yeah, go back and, you know, firstly buy Apple, yeah, when it first floated, or buy gold and go back to October 2023. Either or, build the time machine. Yatin, you are responsible for the time machine. We want it built by Christmas, if that's okay. Um, right, guys, so again, it's either stay out or buy, but the majority of people are stay out. If I just bring up an indicator, yeah? Um, RS, no, where is it? The relative strength index. Yeah, All right, we'll have a look at pound Swiss franc and see what that's telling us. Now, on, on RSI, you've got two areas. Yeah, you've got the 30, which tells us if if this line is down here, it's over oversold. And if it's above 70, which it is, things are overbought. Right. So again, there's no value here, right? You know, even if you bought this bullish candle, all you're going to really take it to is the, this high here, you know. So, again, I would stay out of gold. Yeah. And yeah, so I would stay out of gold because of the same reasons. Overbought, no value, no room to move into to the last high. OK, I've just shown you it's overbought on the RSI, but you can see it with your own eye. So. We need a retrace, get a retrace in here, build up of structure. I'll happily, I'll happily buy gold in here. Yeah, or here even, or here, or here, or here, or here. I will happily buy gold and I will just let price action tell me at what level I should trade it. But right now it's just stay out. And also guys, like, you know, maybe some of you like, I only trade gold. And my answer would be why, yeah? Because, for example, silver, yeah? I, I was in a silver, I am in a silver trade currently, right? And, you know, it, it's, it makes more sense as a trade, 
Yeah, so why not just, instead of gold, trade silver? Yeah, so this, this makes far more sense. Again, very overbought, right? I'm not disputing that. It is very overbought. But what I like about this is that we've had a break of these highs, which is a continuation of trend. We've had a very bullish candle, unlike gold. And unlike gold, we have room to move into. So if you really want to trade a precious metal, trade silver. Okay. Um, yeah, so there you go. I'd rather trade... I'd rather buy silver than gold right now. Gold, we really need a retrace. Um, all right, guys. So there you go. So if you think about it, you're you're you know the people have spoken, right? So on the weekly chart, you were all <coughs> saying stay out. That was the overwhelming majority. And on the day chart, the overwhelming majority were saying stay out. So do that. Stay out. Yeah. Um, and and also worth pointing out, just because things are very overbought, yeah, it doesn't mean that it can't do this for the next three years, right? It can. I'm not saying that. Of course it can, yeah. And if you know if these indices start tumbling down, you will see gold go ballistic. But there's no value for me. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, there's no value in me taking this trade. Um, all right, guys. So there you go. That's gold and silver. Um, we've got a couple of minutes. We've got a minute and a half now um, before the news comes out. Let me go to my silver trade. I'm, I'm, have I been stopped out? I've been stopped out, guys. Let me just check. Yeah. So no. Yeah. So no problem. I've been stopped out of that trade. You know, I explained the silver trade earlier. My I just moved, this is where I entered, this is my stop loss, but I just moved my stop loss to break even, all right? And I've literally just closed that trade, made a very small profit, all right? Because we've got big news coming out in 50 seconds. All right, so we are gonna play, drum roll editor, uh, we're gonna play guess the news game. And let's do it with silver. So we've got a lot of US data coming out very shortly. Okay, when that comes out, guys, we're just going to predict was we're not going to, yeah, we're going to predict was the news better than expected, worse than expected, or as expected. And you'll be surprised sometimes. Yeah, silver does this, but it was better than expected US dollar data. All right, but let's take a look. We've got 10, yeah, 10 seconds till the news comes out. All right, so just talk amongst yourselves, maybe tell a joke. Okay, and I'll also look at a few more of your other questions, guys, as well. Right, so we've had the news come out. Okay, so the initial reaction is US dollar strength, right? This is what we're seeing on silver. So I would have been knocked out of my trade anyway. Okay, now we're seeing... US dollar weakness. There's, there's a lot of news here for the market to digest. Yeah, it's not just like CP, it's not just PPIs, retail sales, employment figures. All right, let's take a look at another pair. Let's have a look at US dollar, Canadian dollar. So, yeah, US dollar strength for sure. Let's have a look at pound US dollar, my motherland currency. Well, pound has took a tumble. Yeah, so that's US dollar strength. Um, let's have a look at Euro. Okay, so by deduction, yeah, call me Sherlock Holmes. Um, I'm going to say the news was better than expected for the US. Okay, so let's take a look. So most of it was yeah there's more green than red and if you look at you know some of the free a big one here is ppi and that was a big beat on expectation yeah they predicted 0.3 it was 0.6 so that is a big beat on expectations um yeah this is also a big beat on expectations uh retail sales okay it was a small miss 
Um, and also, yeah, retail sales again was a small miss. But the market's giving more, you know, more focus on employment and inflation. Okay, so that has led to some strength in the US dollar. Uh, let's just take a look at that. Yeah, so that's still coming through. Uh, let's have a look at Aussie dollar, US dollar. Okay, so Aussie dollar, US dollar. Yeah, you know, lots of strength, guys. Right, I had a couple of alarms go off. Okay, so pound Swiss franc has won because I'm looking to trade pound Swiss franc. Um, but don't really like this H4 candle so far. Yeah, we've still got another... 28 minutes but i'll wait to see what this h4 candle does because pound swiss franc i was looking to buy back up to these highs um and why did aussie aussie i think aussie dollar canadian dollar was an old trade okay so i, I got out of this trade yeah and that was a good thing to do um so there you go guys right let, let's take a look at a few more questions um there were some more questions up here. Okay, so Poop Pop has got a question here. So I should start demo trading the news. Do you have a technique? So again, as part of our VIP Trading Academy, we have a technique called a news straddle. If you, we have tested this strategy, we've got VIP members using this strategy, and if you would like to know this strategy, then please come join our VIP Trading Academy, which right now you can get for free if you join our brokerage partner, Axi. All right, so check that out, guys. Yeah, don't miss out on that promo. Um, what else are we looking at? So we was looking at gold. Uh, what else? There were some other pairs we were looking at. So Euro US dollar. Okay, so Bish and Say It With Stone want to look at Euro US dollar. So let's take a look at Euro US dollar after the news now. Um, and also, guys, must remember to mention this above my head, my flash funding. If you want 24% off any prop firm challenge right now with my flash funding, then use code simply. All right, when you check out. Please make sure you use the code, guys, so we can continue to give you these promotions. Uh, yeah, check it out. Right, Euro, US dollar. Let's let's do a top-down approach, right? Let's do this. Okay, I'll do this one on my own. Okay, so what are we seeing on the weekly chart? We are seeing that. This is where we are currently. Okay, we are in an uptrend. Yeah, we're in an uptrend. I don't know why I'm umming and ahhing. That's an uptrend. Higher lows. These lows never broke. Higher highs just. Okay, even if you included this as one high, we're in an uptrend, maybe stroke range. Yeah, between here and here. All right, so it's an uptrend stroke range. All right, but bearing that in mind, we want to look for buys. Yeah, if that's the structure, the trend we're in, we want to look for buy opportunities. And, you know, this weekly candle is telling us perhaps we still have a bit of room. I like this psychological level, it's 1.1 thousand. So that's what the weekly is telling me. And also, we're above the moving average 20. You know, I love a bit of moving average 20. I love it just as much as I love Gal Gadot and Liverpool FC. And that is saying a lot. Um, so there's the weekly. If we look at the day chart, yeah, you know, uptrend. Yeah, clearly in an uptrend. And this is where we are currently. The problem right now is, is that, you know, the market has told us here that there are sellers that's not me making it up that candle has shown me there are sellers sitting in here okay um but we are still in an uptrend i would need to see a nice bullish candle and this doji 
is not bullish enough and this isn't bullish enough look at the top wick so nothing is telling me to buy euro us dollar you know obviously trend is telling me to buy it but i also need other factors to tell me to buy it right and they're just not there i need a strong candle i need um you know room to move into we're at resistance you know there's there's a few things telling me not to buy it so that's where we are with euro us dollar um you know if you said tom you have to trade it otherwise we will um shave your head and tattoo it with simply forex then uh then i would enjoy that then i would uh i would buy it yeah clearly weekly was in an uptrend daily's in an uptrend yeah i would look to take price like i say back to this 1.1 thousand level now let's see if we can see any more clues on the lower time frames to support this idea um yes we can yeah because if we just follow euro us dollar trend yeah this is where we're at yeah we got higher highs from here it was in a downtrend lower lows sorry lower highs lower lows now we've got higher highs is this going to be the new higher low we don't know okay but h4 is in an uptrend for me so that would lead us to believe we have more room to the upside okay so h4 supports our buy idea if we look at the h1 okay so a, a little bit of price breaking down if i was going to trade this and buy it there's a level through here okay i suggest you find these levels on the h1 yeah they're really good indications of where and uh, where to enter there's clearly a level there yeah it was resistance support resistance and this is where we're at now if we get a break let's say we get this and we get a break of the h1 yeah a breakout of that gray zone then potentially yeah we could look for buys for euro us dollar okay and judging by this reaction um it's looking good and and just look how crazy the news is guys right so you remember all this news from earlier on let's be honest it's more you know it's better than expected for the us uh yeah for the us and if we look here about you know five minutes ago we were seeing us dollar strength five minutes later we're seeing euro strength all right welcome to trading the news okay so it'd be interesting to see how this finishes but a break of this level then potentially euro us dollar could be a good buy um also greg uh, mentioned new zealand yen um so let's take a quick look at that as well uh was it new zealand yen all oh, right okay you were talking about the issue with your broker okay i understand um one thing i do want to say about the yen pairs right now is uh Okay, well, let's look at pound yen because IQ Robert wants to look at pound yen. Lag FX, how are you? Luke, you're right, mate. Um, how, Carlos, hello, Tom. How long you do you wait to trade after the news? So look at Euro US dollar. It's a good question, right? I normally give it about an hour. But if you look at Euro US dollar and you look at that hourly candle, yeah, if you, if you got in too quick, let's say you saw this. And you saw a broke break of this low. You're like, right, I'm selling down to here. This is a great trade. And then five minutes later, you've got this wick. Yeah, you'll be like, oh, okay, my trade idea is not so good right now. All right, so give it an hour. Yeah, you know, give it. Let the hourly candle finish, and then make a decision on that. Yeah, don't be quick to jump in on the news unless you trade the news and you are 
you know how to trade the news and you are skilled in trading the news, then trade the news. If you're not, don't go near it with a barge pole, right? Do not trade it. Okay, so I we, we have a news straddle on our VIP, but generally speaking, apart from that, I will not trade the news. So I will wait for this hourly candle to finish. And we've still got, you know, 18 minutes. And then I'll make a decision. And then I'll see if I have a setup or not. And if I don't, no trade. Uh, right, pound yen, IQ Robert. Uh, let's have a look at pound yen. So this is the thing for me with pound yen at the moment. All right. And before we start pound yen, guys, if I could ask everyone to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, uh, and also smash the like button and also come join our free trading community. Yeah. Come join the discord channel. Now, this is the thing with pretty much all yen pairs. Okay. If we look at the weekly we're in an uptrend, but it's, it's become even more interesting than yesterday. Now, if you look at the weekly, you're going to buy pound yen. Yeah, you are. So a lovely piece of support. It's coming down. You know, this weekly candle hasn't finished, but we're getting, you know, buyers have entered the market. Yeah, that's not me making it up. That is a clear fact. Look at the reaction. Okay. And we'll look to take price up to there. Yeah, would that make sense? I, you know, structurally price action, that would make sense. Now, if we drop down to the day chart, yeah, we're in a downtrend. We was in this uptrend. Now price is broken down. And I want to, you know, share this level here. I'm actually going to move this one over. Right now, how many times do we see this? What was once support when it yeah what was once support when it breaks becomes resistance and this is what we're seeing so far now imagine the predicament that puts buyers and sellers in yeah you've got these you've got these weekly buyers sitting in here and you can see them look at that wick look at that wick look at the green candle there are weekly buyers sitting in there okay if we follow daily structure yeah, this area here, there are weekly, sorry, there are daily sellers sitting in there. Yeah, so what you're going to get is a shit show between these two, right? You're probably going to get this, yeah, weekly buyers, yeah, daily sellers, weekly buyers, daily sellers, weekly buyers, right? We might see this sort of price action. Yeah, a bit of indecision, a range, but it's not really a range. It's more indecision. We don't have, you know, buyers and sellers are not winning, right? And then basically we need a winner, right? Will it, will we get, a, you know, somebody that buyers win and it flies out of here, yeah? And we start buying it or will sellers win and it breaks these lows and we start selling it? Yeah, but until then, not interested. And you can pick, you know, Euro Yen, same predicament, right? If I show you the weekly chart, right, you're you're buying that. Yeah, we're in an uptrend, higher lows, higher highs. It's you know not quite the moving average 20, yeah, but it's in an uptrend. You would, you, would, you would be totally forgiven if, if you said, I want to buy that up to there. I'd be like, structurally, that makes sense. Now, weekly buyers, if I show you the day chart, you would be like, Tom, I'm going to sell that. And again, you would be perfectly within your rights to say so. Yeah, we're in a downtrend, lower highs, lower lows, and we're at this key level. Right. So, you know, there's going to be daily sellers in here wanting to push it down to here. All right. So with the yen pairs, this daily weekly battle is going to be really interesting over the next days, even weeks. So, yeah, that's why I'm not trading yen pairs at the moment. There's just too much contradiction. All right, guys, 
Um, and on that note, we are going to ask everyone to please smash the like button before we go. Um, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for all your questions, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, I'll see you this time again tomorrow. Have a great trip.